Now, Israeli strikes in southern Gaza have killed at least 70 people with more than 200 injured, according to the Hamas-run health ministry. Israel says the area around Khan Yunus, including a location previously designated as a humanitarian zone, which has been used by internally displaced people, was being used as a base for attacks by militants. The Israeli military had issued orders to civilians to evacuate ahead of what it said would be a forceful operation. Separately, a planned meeting between Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and US President Joe Biden, which was due to take place later today, has been delayed until Thursday. Well, I'm joined by a correspondent in Jerusalem, Barbara Plett Asher. Um, Barbara, just in terms of, of the latest of what's going on in the ground in Gaza, just bring us up to date with what's been going on in the last uh, few hours. Well, Gita, there's been a mass displacement in the last 24 hours. 150,000 people, according to a UN official, um, at least, have fled this area where the Israeli army has resumed operations. So the Israelis had carried out a massive sweeping operation in the city of Khan Yunus earlier in the year against Hamas, uh, and then they left. Um, and now they're saying that the Hamas is regrouping in part of the city and is, is attacking them uh, in the eastern districts. And so it's moving back in. And it issued this evacuation order uh, telling people there to leave right away. Now, the people there, many of them had been displaced from earlier operations, and they started to flee in panic almost right away, but not fast enough, uh, because according to the health ministry, uh, which is, uh, with, according to the health ministry, about 70 people were killed and 200 uh, injured and these displaced people now are looking for new places to go part of this area had been designated a, hum a humanitarian zone uh, as you mentioned they're going to another area that has also been designated but that's very crowded uh, not much room for, to put up shelter not much services and also frankly not safe a UN official said the, the, the front line keeps suffocating them uh, that it just keeps moving and closing in on them and Barbara, what is known about the visit of Mr. Netanyahu to the US? What's its purpose and who will he now meet, given the change in politics there? He was invited to speak to a joint session of Congress. That, with that invitation was initially put forward by the Republican Speaker. Um, so he has gone there to do that. Now the politics have shifted uh, uh, in the meantime. So he will be, of course, meeting President Biden, but he will also meet Kamala Harris, uh, the presumptive nominee at this point, and he has asked, we are told and we understand, to meet with uh, pres the former president, Donald Trump, as well. Um, so he is going to be uh, hedging his bets, I suppose, or laying the groundwork for whatever might come. But his message is going to be the same, I think, as it has been. He's very much under pressure to agree to a ceasefire in Gaza, both by the families of hostages and by the Biden administration and, and some of the Democratic Party. He keeps saying, no, the military pressure is working. Uh, Hamas is losing its spirit. He's just said the conditions okay. are ripening for a deal, but we're not there yet. Barbara.